Hello all, in this particular tutorial we will learn how to configure a table space alert and we will test the alert and this particular tutorial is done on OEM 13.5 and Oracle 19C. So now let's, I have already, let's log into the OEM server. So let me open the OEM link and I'm logging as sysman and I've already added the database i'm going to use the same database hosted on the oem oem lab i do not want to complicate the thing so i'm using the same database this is just for the testing so i'm going to if you see here there is no incident there is no incident and there is no warning so we are all good so there is no warning there is no incident you can also look at the summary page and here there is no incident and there is no warning so all looks good now, what, I'm, what we are going to do is we are going to modify the we are going to modify the the threshold for the table space. So to do that, go to the targets, go to the databases, select your database. Once you are inside your database, click on this Oracle database, click on this monitoring click on the Oracle database, click on the monitoring, click on metric and collection settings. Here you will find the table space full by default. It is at 85. This first column is for the warning. So you'll here you'll be able to see this is the warning threshold and this is the critical threshold. So let's go back and warning we will change. We will get a warning at 40 and threshold at 60. So when it reaches 40% will get a warning. When it reaches 60% it will get a incident. Now this data collection happens every 30 minutes. So let leave, we will leave that particular point there will not change that value. So what we'll do is like we will not wait for you know 40 60. Uh, we will not wait for 30. We will we will actually force the data collection and there is a command to do that which i will show you so the update is success succeeded you can see the update is success succeeded even though what i'm going to do the command to force the data collection is this so we are going to say emctl control agent run collection give the name of the database and oracle database problem tablespace so this is the parameter that is going to verify so emctl control agent run collection for which database and what is the monitoring parameter now once that is done we so I'm, I'm going to run that particular thing so the data collection is now running instead of waiting for 30 seconds so that's completed success, su successfully so instead of waiting for 30 minutes and let's look at our summary and you can see that neither we have any incident and neither we have warning and that is because if you see if I run this particular query i do not have any table space where use percent is greater than 20 or greater than 40 where we'll get a warning or greater than 60 will get an incident that's what we have configured so now what i'll do is like i'll create one table space of 10 mb small table space i'll create a table in that particular table space then i'm going to insert some 50k records into that particular and when i do that use percentage should be close to 30 so that's done and now if i go here and run this we are at 30. now remember that we will get a warning when it is above 40 and we'll get an incident when it is above 60 and now currently it is at 30 which means that we should neither get a warning neither we should get an incident so let's do the data collection and once the data collection is done which is done let's refresh this particular page and once that is done let's look at the summary and you can see neither we have any incident neither we have any warning we can also verify that at the database level so go to the databases and here you can see that neither we have any incident or any warning all good now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some more records so that it crosses the 40 percent threshold which which will initiate a warning so let's do that that's done and now if i run this particular query this 
value should be at 50, which has crossed the 40 warning. Let's initiate the data collection. And let's go back, refresh the screen and give it a minute or click on the summary, give it a minute. So I was expecting it to generate a warning, but for some reason it has not generated the warning, which is not a problem. So let's go to the targets, go to the database, select the database and let's go to Oracle database monitoring and this time we'll click on all metrics and if I go down here I should be able to see that a table space full warning has appeared so we have got a table space full and if I click on that then you can see that this particular table space is now at 50 and it says that we have got a warning. So that we have now successfully, as of now, we have reached a threshold limit of 50, which is in between the warning and incident. So now what I'll do is like, I'll add few more records. So it crosses the 60%, it reaches to 70, which will trigger a incident. So I'm going to do that. Once that is done, I'm going to initiate a data collection. And once the data collection is completed, let's look at the summary let's identify if we have got an incident and looks like we got an incident click on that incident and you can see table space test is 70 percent full so we got a incident so now how do i take care of this incident either i drop that particular table space but that also means that my data will be lost which is not a good idea and you should never do that in the production so what i'll do is like i will alter that particular table space to add another data file to that particular table space, which I'm going to do now. Once I've done that, I'm going to refresh, take the data collection once again. And once I've done that, I'm going to look at the summary and let's see if I got, and you can see that incident is no longer there. That incident is gone. And the reason for that incident is gone is because my usage is now back to back to 26.66%, which is below the warning or the incident level. I hope this tutorial was useful. In this particular tutorial, we learned how to configure the table space alerts, how to modify them, how to look at those alerts and how to simulate the test. Thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial. Till then, till then, keep watching the channel, keep enjoying your life. And if you like the content, on my channel do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial bye bye